Yeah. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Zach, and I'll be demonstrating you about how to use peripheral devices on a computer. Today, I'll be demonstrating to you about the keyboard for the Mac and the card reader as well. I'm going to first of all talk to you about how to use the keyboard as a, as a peripheral device for the Mac. Now, all you, now, now it works. All you have to do with the, with the Mac um, keyboard, you have to connect it with the computer at the back of the Mac, and then you automatically can use it for using the Mac. Now, there are things you can change as well. Say if you want to the, like, change the volume, if it's too loud or too quiet, then you can either press this button or press a few buttons either the speaker buttons on the keyboard to make it louder or to make it quieter or you can just mute it and then unmute it you can also change it you can also change the uh, brightness as well all you have to do is just change the brightness of the mark and then change it to go on to different types by pressing the types button here and and, and, it, and it's also used as well. And this this Mac this, this Mac keyboard. If you have a PC, then you wouldn't have to necessarily connect it with a computer. But if you have a Mac, then you need to. It's also used basically for. Say if you want to uh, go on Microsoft Word or any work, then it's then it's pretty useful for you to type it. And type uh, do plenty of typing. So that's pretty much uh, the Mac keyboard and the keyboard for Mac and PC. The other thing I want to talk to you about is also the card reader. Now the card reader is basically, for people that don't know what the key card reader is, it's basically, a, it's a, basically an input and output device that is functioned with a computer. Now if you want to, um, if you want to, um, if you want to basically get footage off the memory card then this card reader is pretty useful. You either, um, all you have to do is just basically, if you have an SD or 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 the 8, 16 or giga, 16 or 32 gigabyte memory card, which is standard disk or SD card or camera card, again you can either work it two ways: either connect this with the keyboard automatically, or you can just connect it with the computer. Now I'm going to connect it with the back of the computer so it'll be easier. You might want to come in close for a bit. Now, as you can see, it says on the tab saying EOS Digital. That will represent the amount of uh, gigabytes and the amount of footage that you take it in when you use the card read when you use the memory card, which is connected with the card reader on the back of the computer. So, as you can see, inside inside this folder, it has it has the amount of footage that you've used. And if you want to take out the footage that you've used and put them in a folder, which I'll name it, for example, say if it's just leave it as that under, then you can automatically drag all the footage and then put them in the folder. And it should take a while to pretty much get them into the folder when it comes to that. And once you're finished with the memory card, and if you don't want to use it anymore, it's always important to press the eject button on the on the computer finder because it'll it'll be easier. And then as soon as you're finished with the card reader, you just take it out of the card reader, take it out from the computer, put the memory card back in, and finish with this card reader over here. So yeah, that's how. You, so, so I hope you enjoyed um, me demonstrating demonstrating the peripheral devices, and thank you for watching.